Hello everybody, what are you going to learn about today? You're going to learn about ResHack, which is really short for Resource Hacker. The version I recommend you get is below in the description, and, and there's something different about the one you can download from an ordinary website. Normally when you have a file you want to work on, you got to go and hunt for Resource Hacker. Um, and the last I remember, yeah, and I don't think even a new one even has it, so it's installed even in program files. So now what I did was, is I made it so you can, let me find an executable first here. So you can right click on it. And I don't even will open it, but it will open. That's not typical, I don't know why that popped up. But everything you need here to edit is also in here as well. See, all that work. I mean, lack of work. Resource Hacker normally you got to go through, find it, go through the folders, double click it, and then you got to take the, 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 the excuse me here, you got to go over here to file, open and find what you're looking for, and then it may not even take it. It might say it's not a System32 file. So I'll get the version I have down below, and we'll go from there, and I will teach you how to use this program. All right, let's continue for where I was. I just opened up Tweak UI Power Toy, the, the setup. Now the bitmaps is uh, literally what it is. It's basically just about every single picture that you'll see in or on the program, bitmaps. To change it, you right click on it and go over to your editing program. I prefer paint because it, it works pretty well for what we use it for. Normally you want to close this area up and make it smaller, but I'm just going to paste it in there. And if you want to do your editing, you just go up to where it was. You right click and you can save I'm sorry you can replace it rename it or even delete it altogether now other important things are the dialogues like the boxes that pop up see here now it popped up in the right hand side you do is you can click on that and you can make some changes I believe mainly by moving it over and also you look for click the next button you look for that uh, above right here and usually Let's see, you can backspace and put 9, B9. I'm just being stupid, but I'm showing you. And then you hit compile script, and that is permanent, as you can see. Well, it's permanent when I go up here. Right now it's compiled it, and there's no errors, because errors will show on the bottom here. And then I can go up, and then it's preferred that you go save as, because if there's a problem with what you just did, you'll you'll never be able to retrieve it so it's best to go save as and let's say it's name setup name it setup to by you know so on and so forth now the next important thing here is a stream table some of it is a lot of things you don't understand but a lot of it is very important and then RC data is actually usually yeah, pretty complex stuff um, but if you're asking how to use Resource Hacker, you're likely not knowing how to use RC data, but that's fine. You'll be able to figure it out by looking through. You might even see sections here, things that are familiar. I've noticed, not in this one, so I can't give you an illustration, but you can actually change the colors, the fonts, the colors. I already said colors twice, but in the dialogues is what I'm talking about, separate from the fonts that are normally on the exterior of the program. And down on the bottom is normally the name of the program, the dependencies, the versions, so on and so forth. Now, I'm going to show you another way to use this program for your editing purposes. One cool way is to take a program that you know somebody's going to use and use it for your own advantages of like advertising or something you know that people can definitely use. One of the ways I used is I took a key gen, which was originally is for Windows uh, 95. I did some changes to it because it was different colors and fonts were wrong and it was hard to read and I put my website up in here but you can also change what the key gen is actually for now one of the ways to do is obviously right click now we're going to look for a keyword in here I want to look for win xp76 and that allow me to show you how to some of the changes are made um, usually it's in the string data or the RC data and you hit control F I believe yeah just like you normally would and win xp76 find next and it all seems to be right as the caption as it looks like a caption that is a caption and it matches and that's what it is I'll change it to anything I want and what I'll do is I'll name it my other website which is Quake PCs and again you compile it 
and you hit save. Now, where is my cursor? It disappeared on me. Okay, we go down here. We obviously got to close this. And what do you know? Here's my address. There's another program that I started working on. It used to be called Serial-O-Matic 2.4. Of course, that's from like 99, 2000. It's no longer in use. It's 2011, for God's sakes. I emptied everything out of here, at least most as I could. All with Resource Hacker. And what I'm going to do next is I'm going to get a hold of all the serial numbers, put my website up in here, change that little window that just popped up, put my own stuff in up in there. And I'm basically going to... It's illegal to do, too. This ain't illegal, by the way, so... And I'm going to take over the program and use it for my own purposes, which are going to be, you know, serial numbers for A through Z, 1 through 0, or 1 through 10. And I also can alter the about. I've already started on that. I put in my test area. Spider Industries is not me. This area I'm going to change pretty soon. And I left the close function on here, obviously. I can also, with Resource Hacker, you can add the square here so it can expand to the full size of the site. I'm sorry, the page, but it did not come out very good. It just left this area where it was, and it left it all in proportion. Now, you're going to be running across a lot of key generators and other programs, and you're going to wonder, how come I don't find everything this guy here is finding on his video? Well, one of the most important things that I've noticed is when I use Resource Hacker, three things have to be here. I'm sorry, two. String table and RC data. You'll have ones with just one or the other, or sometimes you'll just have a cursor, an icon, and the name of it and unfortunately that means that you can't do any work on the program I must also stay out of my 1200 key gens that I own only three was I able to edit with resource hacker doesn't mean resource hackers that you can edit anything out there with resource hacker that is in these categories right here where, it, where was I just looking at that all right, DLLs, executables. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you in the save as. And, of course, it's going to make a liar out of me, right? Don't worry about it. We'll get to the bottom of this. So to help you out, I'm going to take this key generator, this program, and then a couple other templates, if I, if I can find them all. And I'm going to put them down below here so you guys can take them and go to work on them right away.